Hello and welcome to the figure review of the Boba Fett figure from the uh, movie realization line from Bandai and Tamashi Nations. I'll be reviewing the articulation and I'll be showing you the accessories that it comes with. Okay, so for the accessories we have the two holding hands right here, left and right, trigger finger hand, and for the support um, hand for the weapon and then we have the gaffy stick here we have the claw for the forearm weapon and also the claw um, that's attached to a chain right here we have the pistol and we have the main weapon also we have the blade and the sheath and it also comes with this, but I removed mine from the waist armor and replaced it with a cloth piece, or rather, um, just a cloth from an old shirt of mine. Yeah, I'll show you later. Okay, so moving to the articulation. Oh, I forgot. We also have this backpack right here. It's an accessory, has a peg, and you can just plug it in here. Okay, so for the articulation, we have the antenna up and down. Just be careful, it's fragile. Um, the head is attached to the ball joint, and the neck is attached to the ball joint as well. So, you know, you can move it like that, forward and back, up that much down that much side to side rotate and then the uh, shoulder pad is on a hinge and it's attached to a ball joint I don't know if I can remove it yeah there we go there's the ball joint and there is the shoulder pad it has an R in it so it's for the right piece and the other one has an L for the left piece. So, um, as you can see here, we have bicep swivel, and then elbow is a ball joint. Can rotate up and down, and then forearm can also rotate, and also this one, this part, the bicep, and the hands or the wrists are on a ball joint which can also move they can also swivel and rotate as well okay let me just put it back in and then the waist on a uh, ball joint as well let me just remove it really tight so just be careful okay there we go um, when you're removing it just be careful of the antenna okay so for the waist armor like I said it comes with this originally and as you can see three holes three pegs glued there I just uh, put some little bit of uh, super glue remover and then until it's removed just be careful because the paint will be removed from the super glue remover but it's not gonna be that much and then I just uh, cut some from my uh, old shirt Look tattered and then put that in so this big peg right here will be resting on a hole at the back of the figure like so and the armor pieces here are pliable material so no need to worry about them let me just put it back in 
Again, it's really tight, so just be careful. And as you can see, by the way, there is the ball joint that needs to be there. Let me just return it off camera. Okay, so um, here's the holster for the pistol and this is for the sheath. Okay, so um, torso, front, let me just raise the arms up, front, back, that's the maximum for the front. Maximum for the back, side to side. And if you're familiar with the uh, figure arts figures, um, this one doesn't come with a drop down joints. It's just a steady piece of uh, ball joint there, but you get the uh, hip rotation or the hip swivel. can kick forward combined with the maximum range of the uh, hips or the waist rather or torso sorry yeah that's gonna be the maximum for the legs and for the uh, torso by the way we also have a butterfly butterfly joint here on both shoulders up and down rotation 360 as well and let me just show you maybe you're wondering like I was before getting the figure because I've seen a product image um, where it was sitting on a throne diorama so yeah again like I've said earlier these are pliable materials so if you want it to sit can so yeah back to the knee we have double joints and I think they can rotate but due to the uh, design they won't be able to so anyway for the ankles up and down or forward and back and then they can rotate as they're on a ball joint swivel pivot and then toe articulation. Okay, so um, let me just put the sheath here and the blade right there. Um, some prefer it to uh, put it this way, but for me, it just makes sense to be this way because if you're gonna remove the blade, you know, it's gonna be easier pulling it out this way because this is where the, the uh, motion would be going from here to here. Yeah, and then also, um, just in real life you know if you're gonna put it here and then put the blade or pull the blade it's gonna go downward rather than upward and also you know the sharp um, side of the blade will be facing upward so that's dangerous anyway that's it for the blade for the uh, holster just put the pistol there as you can see and the hole there that's where the top part of the pistol will go and there you have it um, the backpack hole peg just put that in like so and there we have it, Boba Fett from the 
Book of Boba Fett series on Disney Plus from the movie realization line from the Machinations and Bandai. So if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. And thank you for watching.